Today will be my third time trying Svelte. I tried it when it first came out and I went through like 10% of the tutorial. It was great, I really liked it, but then I didn't really have a reason to continue until like a while later. The second time I tried it, this guy named Vape Jordan was like, hey, let me teach you Svelte. So he showed me how to do a to-do list and then I just haven't touched Svelte since then. I'm interested in Svelte for two reasons. Number one, I like just trying new stuff, and Svelte is kind of the hot kid on the block right now, and you also just like watching me get outside of my React bubble and try these new things. And then secondly, which is more important, that supposedly you can build smaller websites with this versus say using React, but not sacrifice on the developer experience. Svelte. Now let's just go to the tut. And just like with Vue, I'm just gonna go through the official tut on the website. I've actually tried a little bit of this, but I totally forgot pretty much all my Svelte knowledge, but it should come back to me pretty quickly. But the tut is actually pretty amazing because as you can see, it has like a little editor that you get to type and try it out as it gives you like lessons on the side. And also it is just very comprehensive. As you can see, these are all the different things. So I have quite a bit ahead of me because I think I'm just gonna grind through this and try this all out. And by the way, I should probably mention, for those of you that have no idea what the heck this thing is, it's just a front-end framework. Um, actually, I don't know if it considers itself a framework or not. But anyway, you can just use it instead of React, for example. This compiler doesn't have any chill. As soon as I start typing div, it's already barking at me before I even finish it. Hmm. I kind of just created a poor man's render function right here, where whenever I call set state on count, this bit of code runs. So it's almost like a mix between use effect where the dependency is count. And then for me to call set state, all I do is I just mutate the count and then Svelte handles it. This is so weird. I'm not used to things not having like quotations around them or for numbers not having curly braces. Like what? It has nothing and it's just working. Yay me, I'm done. I went through this really fast because I didn't do a lot of the typing portion where you like interact with it, except for a couple of them. And I did that on purpose because my main strategy is to just like go through all the topics and get an idea of what they all are and then actually go build my own thing now. And then when I get stuck, go back and go through the interactive part if I need to and get extra help. So now I'm gonna get Svelte set up on my computer and then start working on my own project. The easiest way to get started with Svelte, use the REPL. Use Degit. Svelte setup TypeScript. All right. Oof, four tab spacing. There we go, much better. What happened? Console? Nothing showing up. Oh, do I have to do like dev? Oh, I did, so I did start, not dev, okay. All right, we're good, we're good. Hello world. We're ready to start coding some salt. What do I, what should I make? Who am I kidding? I already know what I'm making. This is a square and this is a board square. That's a board. Solid, one pix, FFF. There we go. Can you guess what I'm making? You're wrong. I'm making the snake game where you go around and you bite things, or at least I'm trying to make that, but you gotta admit, that board is looking pretty sharp already, right? A cell can either be empty a snake, or it can be food. Getting all fancy with my Svelte logic, like check this out, I got my class that triggers the empty class, if cell is equal to empty, or if it's food, it's food, if it's snake, it's snake. But then like, I'm just a scrub. The cell name matches the name here. I could just stick it right here. Like, I don't know, can I actually, can I do this? Can I do templates? You know, let's do it like this. And then I can get rid of all this code. I was getting too fancy of salt when I could just be doing this the entire time. I'm doing some wonky stuff and we're about to find out if this actually moves the snake or not. So I have this grid up here, right? And then I have a computed grid. And the computed grid just takes the snake's position and puts it in the grid. And then on mount, I set an interval, which you know what, I should probably clear this on unmount so I don't have a memory leak, but uh, I don't feel like looking it up. So we'll just, we'll just deal with it. And then uh, I just decrement the snake's position and it should like recompute it, I think. But let's see, let's see if it does it. It went that way, I actually wanted it to go up and eat, but it looks like it did work, let's see. Yes, it's a little slow, but it works. So it kept the snake's old position, so I just need to wipe the snake's position beforehand. Okay, nice, now it empties, cool. 
I think the algorithm to update the snake is I remove the last element in the snake position and then we append a new head on, on it. Snake's out of its cage. I'm a loser. Arrow left. I added the logic so if you lost the game, it shows an H1 you lost instead of showing the board. But you'll notice like I wrapped the entire board here in an else. What I'd really like to do is if I was in React, I'd just like put this up here, right? And then I'd return early and then nothing after it would be displayed. And I'm not sure if there's like that concept in Svelte where I can just like return early and have other stuff below it and have it on the same level because it's a little bit cleaner. We need a random algorithm to generate food. JavaScript random number. All right, turn the corner. Is it actually working? Ooh, ooh. No, I ate myself a couple times there. It's looking a little sluggish when it moves. I'm wondering if tweening is the answer. This is actually not tweening I need. I think I just need a CSS. Now it's just flashing. I'm not sure what animation I'm supposed to use to make this smoother, so I'm just gonna keep it as is and call it a feature. So if the new head would collide with the snake body, that also means the game is over. Now the game is over, so lost is equal to true. All right, this is so slow, I need to make it faster. So I'm gonna switch to set timeout, n minus snake position times 10. <laughs> All right, they got super fast. So now I should get faster every time I eat a food or I, I get longer. Should we also have two foods on the map maybe? Let's go. I'm really nervous because I don't want to kill myself against the wall. There we go. You lost by killing yourself. So I just want to test running into myself kills me. All right, random food, you get to do it twice. You get real fat real fast. Oh, I should have my high score at the top. <sighs> I ran into myself like a pleb. I should still show the map so you can see how gross of a loss that was. All right, let's go. All right, we're starting to go a little fast. Okay, we're going really fast. Now we're really, dude, it is so hard after 20. I don't think 20 is impossible. We need to like, I need like some logarithmic crap to make this a little bit slower. For the purpose of this, we will just do a max length of Let's do 15. It was pr getting pretty fast. Let's see how long I can get this guy. Let's go. Okay, we died. Wait. <laughs> this should be a min. Min, not max. All right, so it shouldn't get any faster than this, but this is kind of too fast, I feel like. Like, I can't even go for outside ones, you know? I'm just going in a gosh dang circle. Oh my gosh, I boxed myself in. There's no escaping. Oof. As much fun as I'm having playing my crappy svelte snake game, I think I'm going to end it here because why play the snake game when I could just be playing Among Us anyway? Uh, which also reminds me, Discord people want me to plug Discord because they want some more Discord friends. So if you're not aware, I have a Discord. Link is in the description if you want to check it out and come talk to me about svelte because I had a great time. I really enjoyed it. One thing I noticed is stuff just worked. Like I just like intuited a lot of how it worked. And then when I tried it, the snake would just work and it just did the thing. And I didn't like run into a lot of issues. So that was really nice. Maybe it's because the project I picked was too simple. And when I do more stuff, I'll run into something, but I don't really have any complaints so far. Everything went really smoothly and I look forward to doing more Svelte in the future. I'm thinking maybe we'll do some Sapper and try out their framework, and uh, yeah, it'll be a good time. Come on now, you didn't think I was actually gonna end the video without giving you a little bit of a tier list, did you? Okay, here's the thing. I don't know enough felt to be able to compare it against React, so we're just gonna have React as our default winner because, you know, that's how the world works. And I probably don't really have enough experience to compare it against Vue either. But here's the thing. This is the vibe that I'm getting out of the little bit I've tried of both. If I wanna use JSX, which I know you can do in Vue, at least people are saying, then I'm just gonna use React. But if I wanna do like the template thingy-mabobber, then I'm kind of feeling Svelte. I kind of like the template thing with Svelte better than I did with Vue, but like maybe like small margins. Plus my understanding is with Svelte, you get a smaller bundle size than with Vue, which maybe this is wrong, so please correct me below if I am. Um, but for that reason, I'm giving Svelte second place.
And there you go. That is my tier list.